Saint Augustine commentary on Psalm 106 following Nevertheless, God, full of mercy, forsook them not, and he saw when they were in adversity, when he heard their complaint. Verse 44 And he thought upon his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. Verse 45 he says he repented because he changed that wherewith he seemed about to destroy them. With God indeed all things are arranged and fixed, and when he seems to act upon certain motive, he does nothing but what he foreknew that he should do from eternity, but in the temporal changes of creation, which he rules wonderfully, he, without any temporal change in himself, is said to do by a sudden act of will what in the ordained causes of events he has arranged in the unche unchangeableness of his most secret counsel, according to which he does everything according to defined seasons, doing the present and having already done the future. And who is capable of comprehending these things? To Corinthians 2.16 Let us therefore hear the scripture, speaking high things humbly, giving food for the nourishment of children, and proposing subjects for the research of the older, that everlasting covenant which he made with Abraham, not the old which is abolished, but the new which is hidden even in the old, and pitied them. He did that which he had covenanted, but he had foreknown that he would yield this to them when they prayed in their adversity, since even their very prayer, when it was not uttered, but was still to be uttered, undoubtedly was none, was known unto God. So he gave them unto compassions in the sight of all that had taken them captive. Verse 46. That they might not be vessels of wrath, but vessels of mercy. Romans 9.22-23. The compassions unto which he gave them are named in the plural for this reason, I imagine, because each one has a gift of his own from God, one in one way, another in another. 1 Corinthians 7.7 7. Come then, whosoever reads this, and does recognize the grace of God, by which we are redeemed unto eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, by reading in the apostolical writings, and by searching in the prophets, and see the Old Testament revealed in the New, the New veiled in the Old. Remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ where, when he drives him out of the hearts of the faithful, he says, Now is the prince of this world cast out. John twelve thirty one. And again of the apostle when he says, Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1, 13. Meditate on these and such like things, examine also the Old Testament, and see what is sung in that psalm, the title of which is, When the Temple Was Being Built After the Captivity. For there it is said, Sing unto the Lord a new song, and that you may not think it does refer to the Jewish people only, he says, Sing unto the Lord all the whole earth, sing unto the Lord and praise his name, declare, or rather, give the good news of, or to transfer the very word used in the Greek, evangelize day from day his salvation. Here the gospel evangelium is mentioned, in which is announced the day that come from day, our Lord Christ, the light from light, the Son from the Father. This also is the meaning of his salvation, 
for Christ is the salvation of God, as we have shown above. Deliver us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations. Other copies read from the heathen. That we may give thanks unto your holy name, and make our boast of your praise. Verse 47. Then he has briefly added this very praise, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting and world without end. Verse 48. By which we understand from everlasting to everlasting, because he shall be praised without end by those of whom it is said, Blessed are they that dwell in your house, they will be always praising you. Psalm 84 verse 4 This is the perfection of the body of Christ on the third day, when the devils had been cast out and cures perfected, even unto the immortality of the body itself, the everlasting reign of those who perfectly praise him because they perfectly love him and perfectly love him because they behold him face to face. For then shall be completed the prayer at the commencement of this psalm, Remember us, O Lord, according to the favor that you bear unto your people. For from the Gentiles he does not gather only the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Matthew 15, 24, but also those which do not belong to that fold, so that there is one flock, as is said, and one shepherd. But when the Jews suppose that that prophecy belongs to their visible kingdom, because they know not how to rejoice in the hope of good things unseen, they are about to rush into the snares of him of whom the Lord said, I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. John 5.24 Of whom the Apostle Paul says that man of sin shall be revealed the son of perdition. And a little after he says, Then shall that wicked be revealed, from the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 to 11. Through that apostate, through him who exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, it seems to me that the carnal people of Israel will suppose that prophecy to be fulfilled, where it is said, Deliver us, O Lord, and gather us from among the heathen. <coughs> that under his guidance, before the, the eyes of their visible enemies, who had visibly taken them, taken them captive, they are to have visible glory. Thus, they will believe a lie, because they have not received the love of truth, that they might love not carnal but spiritual blessings. For Christ had other sheep that were not of this fold, John 10, 16. But the devil and his angels had taken captive all those sheep, both among the Israelites and the Gentiles. The power, therefore, of the devil having been cast out of them in the sight of the evil spirits who had taken them captive, their cry in this prophecy is that they may be saved and perfected for evermore. Deliver us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen, not as the Jews imagine it, fulfilled through Antichrist, but through our Lord Christ coming in the name of his Father, day from day, his salvation of whom it is here said, O oh, visit us in your salvation, and all the people say, the predestined people of the, of the circumcision and of the uncircumcision, a holy race and adopted people, so be it, so be it.